Hey guys, so this is not a vlog. I was planning on doing Vlogmas because everyone had asked about it and I was, you know, get, I'm dipping my toes in YouTube and I thought I'd give it a try. And then I forgot that November only had 30 days slash I lost track of time completely and all of a sudden realized that it was December and I hadn't filmed anything and I had nothing planned and I was, it just was bad. So I thought, okay, I've already missed a day. I'm already off, I'm not gonna be able to do it. And it kind of took a lot of pressure off, which I was relieved about, because I wasn't sure how I was gonna be able to pull off, you know, the 25 days of vlogging or however many people do the Vlogmas for. And I've been watching some Vlogmas videos, maybe I'm not watching the right ones, but I feel like some people when they're forced to vlog every day, like the content isn't as great and I didn't want that to happen. Plus I was feeling burned out from Cyber Monday and Black Friday, which are by far my busiest days and it gets so crazy. So it's been kind of a week of decomp- well last week when December started was just me kind of decompressing from the end of that craziness and gearing up for December slash setting goals and planning for January. Anyway, that's a long story. But when I was planning on doing Vlogmas, my original first video was going to be a November favorites video because I love watching those. I thought I would give it a try. And then of course now it's December, gosh I don't even know what day it is. Anyway, we're a week into December basically and so I'm just going to consider this like my favorites right now currently. But if you like these kinds of videos, I will be sure to do more in the future. I think they're fun to watch in no particular order. Here are my favorites. I guess now since we have the dogs, Paige, where's my phone? So my first favorite right now is Kyle James Patrick. He's a friend of ours named Garrett. Garrett actually worked for him back in, I think 2011 or 2012, long time ago. So Garrett knew them before Garrett and I even knew each other. And their stuff right now is so cute for the holidays. I'm actually kind of annoyed with them because their stuff is so cute. I've been buying it all. First is this iPhone cover. I don't know what is happening on my iPhone. It's like a leather cover, ooh, finger marks. The back has this really cute hand painted sailboat with my monogram. They have a ton of different designs right now that are super cute. I got the new iPhone 7 Plus and needed a new case and I kind of wanted to go for like a leather look. Um, and so far I love it. Right now they also have the cutest dog scarves. Here's Teddy modeling his. What do you think? Do you like your scarf? Hey, what do you think of your scarf? Look at his right here. They're so cute, right? The best part is that they have a matching dress, Hamilton, for women. So if you, I think I have a vlog on my channel from the trip that my family took to Cape Cod to surprise my best friend's parents for their 30th anniversary. They, or 35th, I wore the Kyle James Patrick striped shirt dress. And this is the same shirt dress, it's just plaid, which is perfect for the holidays. This collar is scalloped, which is so cute. Even like the logo is so cute. I like to wear it with just this brown leather belt that I have from Ann Taylor Loft I've had for a few years, but they tend to bring them out every now and then. But it, when it's belted, it makes it look like it has this the fake knot and it ties the whole dress together really well. I got a little overexcited, so I got both of the dogs the scarves. I bought Garrett the shirt, like the men's shirt, and then I got the dress. So I'm gonna try to get a family shot of us. I was dying at how cute everyone matches together. This is actually my next favorite. This is a mug from my friend Ashley. We just got tea at the plaza if you go back a few vlogs. Anyway, the mugs are really cute, but what really is the favorite is the tea that I'm drinking. It's this Tiavana white chocolate peppermint, and it is so good if you ever go to the mall and they have like the tiavana testing like sample stations outside i always try the samples but i've never gotten to the point where i'm like okay i need to buy this and then i had this it tastes like a dessert but it's just a plain tea it's like really smooth and chocolatey not anything like a regular tea that i've had before so so good my next favorite is this bobby brown it's called a lip crayon art stick 
thing. I have been trying to wear more lipstick. It's been not like a resolution, but kind of like a personal goal to wear it every day. I had a lot of reds for the holidays. You have to really commit to wearing a red lipstick for the day. Like you can't switch it up in the middle of the day. You can't go hours without reapplying. And so I wanted to get like an everyday lip color, but I went to the, to the counter and just asked like, okay, what do you think would be like a good nude for me that still has some color and the guy was so nice so we recommended this stick and I got the rose brown and I think it looks like really natural also don't judge my face I got a facial yesterday and I feel like it's just a little inflamed today it goes on really easy like a crayon not like a it doesn't feel like a lipstick it's not quite like a balm it's almost like a stain it stays on a lot longer than a regular lipstick doesn't feel like super soft so you do have to like wear chapstick underneath it or I just apply chapstick over it but I'm obsessed. Next favorite are these towels flats. How cute are these? They also sent me these tartan flats and they're just so cute and honestly these are the most comfortable flats but I'd rather spend a lot less money than a Chanel flat and get flats that I love that fit and are comfortable and I can wear all day. So these tartan flats are definitely those. Then I have two things from J. Crew. I just fell in love with this red sweater. Isn't this so cute? Looks really cute on too. This is the cutest velvet tank top. Now I am not a tank top person at all. I get really embarrassed sometimes just like showing too much skin and I feel uncomfortable. So the v-neck on this isn't like that deep. So it's still flattering, but not like you're showing too much skin or anything. I mean, other than the fact that it's obviously a tank top, but it's velvet which I think is really in right now. It's like very 90s. Not that I'm trendy, but it is in. And then the bottom is like this really cute peplum. Hamilton has the other one, but these socks are my next favorite thing. Little pom-poms. They're by Ugg. And they're honestly the softest things in the world. They have like fleece on the inside. It gets super cold in my apartment, so I love like wearing these with leggings or like when I'm getting ready for bed, I'll like slip them on just like walk around or when I work from home and I'm freezing at my desk, I put them on. They're just so cozy. Next favorite, this Swell water bottle. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but it has like little skiers all over it. It's a Gray Malin collaboration. Gray is this incredible photographer. He's kind of like a modern day Slim Aaron if you're familiar with his work. And I met him in the Hamptons this summer. He's so nice and just as cute as you'd expect him to be. If you're not following on him on Snapchat, you should. He's so cute. I'm obsessed with his photos. I've wanted the skiing print to hang up on the walls. And one of my friends actually sent me like a watercolor version. So I was like, oh, I don't need the photograph. But when I saw that he was making a water bottle collaboration, I had to have it. It's like kind of expensive for a water bottle, but these are the best ones. You have to hand wash them, but they are, they're metal, so they don't like taste gross, and they stay cold for 24 hours. So I always take this to the gym. My next favorite are these tights. Oh my god, these are the best tights in the entire universe. I hate wearing tights. I'd rather wear like the worst, most uncomfortable pair of high heels than have to wear an uncomfortable pair of tights. But these are by Uniqlo. And they're part of their heat tech. And I did a sponsored Instagram for them this week. And I had never heard of their heat tech products. Or maybe I had in passing but like hadn't researched them. But I'm really glad I did the sponsored post because I'm obsessed with the products. So like I guess has some sort of technology to convert moisture into heat. Apparently a lot of UPS and postal workers wear it I've heard. And my tennis instructor swears by it. He was like you need to go to Uniqlo to get yourself some heat tech. I said oh I know all about it. But the tights were my favorite of the whole product. And that's because first of all they do keep you warm. We took Garrett and I took the photo for the Instagram outside. It was like 30 degrees. It was starting to snow. If you look at the photos my eyes are watering so bad because it was that cold but my legs were not cold because of the tights they have like an actual foot they're not like the kind of tights that just have like that really uncomfortable line by your toe this actually looks like a sock and it even has like a regular sock line i find tights so uncomfortable for that reason so i'm really glad that they have a regular foot and then they're ribbed which i think is cute so soft, not like a regular sheer type that just feels like itchy or uncomfortable. And then the best, the best part, thank you Uniqlo, is that the waistband is actually like a waistband. It's not like the kind that digs into your stomach. 
so I approve. They keep you warm, they've got a regular foot, they're actually soft, and the waistband doesn't hurt. All good reasons to be my favorite. And then there's one more thing. Oh, this Kate Spade bag. You can actually win this on my blog right now if you're watching this when it goes up or before Saturday, but it's so cute. I love their mini bags that they have, and this one actually fits a lot more than like their typical mini. So I have the iPhone 7 Plus, I'll show you. Super roomy. This is like what it looks like with my phone. There's like even more room on the side. Plenty of room, you can fit a full size wallet, a huge phone. Kate Spade also right now has a lot of like personalization that you can add to the bags. And I picked out this little charm. Isn't that cute? It's like a little ice skate. It's like a crossbody or you could take the um, handles off and or the strap off and just carry it like a little handbag. Those are all my favorites. I don't think I missed anything. Let me just check my list. <laughs> That's it. I think I'm gonna start like adding some of these types of videos in with the vlogs. I still have to do that Q&A video. I'm really excited because you guys asked some good questions, but if you have any more questions, you can feel free to leave them in a comment below. And I'll be back. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe. Right here. Don't forget to click like. Click a dog. This is like clickbait, right? Say like or something. And subscribe, comment, like, the whole nine more.